Okay, okay. Can we, can we come back to the Bible? We could do, yeah. We could do. Okay, come back to the Bible. Have you, have you got your Bible in, with you? Hey, sir. You've been there now. The money happened. No, you weren't. You weren't. Which Open your it? Bible. Which week was it? Huh? Two weeks ago. No, it's not two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. No. I got my Bible. Chacha. You got it open, yes? What happened to you? Now, can I ask you? Yeah. We Muslims, in our Quran, there are no contradictions. In our holy book, the Quran, there are no mistakes. As a Christian, do you, what do you say? Are there mistakes in your Bible, yes or no? There are mistakes in the Quran. No, no, so, I'm asking you about the Bible. I'm, so I a, I'm asking you about the Bible. Okay, about your Bible. Are there mistakes in your Bible, yes or no? In the original text, there are no contradictions. There are no mistakes because because this is God's message to us. Okay. God is all knowing. Okay. He does not make mistakes. He right. does not make contradictions. All right. In, in the original text, okay. Okay. there are okay. no contradictions. Right. In that Bible you are holding. Yes, this is a translation. Okay. Is that the Holy Bible? This is a translation of the scriptures. Is no, that no, the no. Holy Bible? This is a translation of the Bible. Say yes or no. Is it's that a translation the, of the Bible. So yes. it's your Holy Bible. It's the version of the Bible. It's the Holy Bible. Is that the book of truth? Yes, of course the Bible is true as I just explained. Are there... In the Hebrew and the Greek. Okay. Are there any mistakes in your Bible? It could be because the translators can make mistakes, okay. yes. Did you say that... Translators in, can make mistakes. Excuse me. Did you there say... There are many different versions of the Quran. Give me a chance as well. And there are contradictions between them. Did you... Because the did translators you, can make mistakes. Did you say that in your Bible there could be mistakes? There could be. There could may, be. Make in it, the translation, yes. Make it simple. Are there... Are there mistakes in the Bible you are carrying? Yes or no? There probably are some. Yes, there probably are some. There are. Because the translators are not in infallible. The so, translators, so the translators are you the best that they can. Are, are you telling us that that Bible in your hand is the book of God? It's a message from God. Yes, it is yeah. God's message to us. So, it tells so, about Jesus Christ. so if his that, deity, his okay. death, and his resurrection. Okay, if that book is the book of God, then how can that book have mistakes? The translators can easily make mistakes. Which one are mistakes? No, Which one are the people who wrote the Bible. I've already explained to you that the original Listen Hebrew to me. and Greek Listen as to me. written is without mistakes. Listen to me. Not that any particular English translation Listen is without to mistakes. Me. Listen to me. Just as you would not claim that the English translation is Brother, Quran, don't is not without Listen, mistakes. Listen, I do Listen not claim to that any English translation to is me. without mistakes. The Bible in your hand. Yes. Is it true there are mistakes in that? Yes or no? Probably there are some translation mistakes. Yes. There are mistakes. There are probably some translation okay. mistakes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now, the people who wrote the Bible were they inspired by God? Yes. They were. That's clearly what the scriptures themselves say. Anybody who is inspired by God can he or they make mistakes? They will be guided by God to give the message which God wants us to know. So people who are guided by God, they cannot make mistakes. Is it true? Um, if they are guided by God, then what they write will be what God wants us to know. Right. Yes. So people who wrote this Bible, is it true that God guided them? Yes, those people who wrote the Hebrew and the Greek scriptures were guided by God. What and about... What about the Christians? What about the Christians who translated the Bible? Did God guide them? So, so the so the original writers write about Jesus Christ, his death for our sins upon the cross, and his resurrection. Okay? Answer my the question. Translators, Answer the translators my. translate this into English from Greek. Answer my question. 
that translation you have in your hand, is it true that God inspired the people who wrote this Bible? He inspired the original authors of the Bible. What about what about the translators? So the translator of this Bible that were not inspired. The English translations of the Quran are without mistakes. You wouldn't claim that. You okay. claim that the original text is okay. without mistakes. Okay, right. Likewise, now. I claim that the original Hebrew okay. and Greek is okay. without mistakes. Okay, I'll give you an example. I'll give you. Did you know in your Bible there are so many mistakes? No, I did not know that. You didn't know? No, I didn't know that. Have you been reading your Bible? Yes, I have. If you have been reading your Bible, how come you don't know there are mistakes in the Bible? Uh, I just haven't found them. Okay, let me tell you, give you a few then. Okay. Right, okay. Let me teach you a lesson. Okay, can I show okay. you some okay. mistakes now, in the Quran? Hold on, there are no mistakes. Can I show you some mistakes hold in the Quran on, open your Bible, second book of Samuel. Yes, second book of Samuel. Chapter 6. Verse 23. Let me read to you. In any Christian Bible, including that Bible in your hand, in the second book of Samuel, chapter 6, verse 23, in the Bible it says, Old Testament. In the Bible it says, Mishal, the daughter of Saul, had no child up until her death. So in the Bible it says, Mishal, she had no children, no child, no children, even up to her death. But in the second book of Samuel, same book, same book, second book of Samuel, Chapter 21, verse 8. Same book, different chapter, different verse. Second book of Samuel, chapter 21, verse 8. It says, Mishal and the five sons of Mishal. So now it says... My Bible doesn't say that. My what? Bible doesn't say that. Okay. In your Bible, let me just finish, then you, I come to you. So in the well, second... Anyway, it says in my Bible, because what you got... Let you, me You have a message to read it correctly. I have. Let me finish it, then I'll come to you. So ladies and gentlemen... I think we should establish what the true, what the true text is here. Why don't you be patient, okay? Because you are you losing. Can't, you can't make a case for the contradiction of something which is not there. It is there, just be no, quiet. No, it's not. Okay. I will tell you. I will give I you the book. I have it here. Book. I have it here. It does not okay, say that. Okay, I will give you. Hold on. Don't you have manners? Anyway, 21, just to say, just to... No point arguing just with you. Come no back. Arguing. Stay. No, sorry. Stay. No, there's no point Are arguing you with ready? Because, Are you, open the book. Open it. You don't even... Open. You In don't front of the camera, the this Christian is going to run. You're going to, open. You're going to, open. Open. You, you open your Bible. Open your Bible. Open your Bible. Open. There's no point talking about open it. Open the Bible. There's Are no you going to run? He's going to run. In if, front if you cannot read, if you cannot the read it correctly. If the Bible is the book of... Open the Bible. Open. No, I want him to open. Open. I have it here. It okay. Open second book of Samuel. Open. Open. Chapter 6, verse 23. No, it's in his Bible, brother, he's got it. He doesn't want to open it. Open it. I got, brother, I got a Bible in my bag as well. Open your Bible. But mine doesn't say the same as your quoting. No, no. Tell me. Read it to us. In the second book of Samuel, chapter 6, verse 23, what does it say? Does Michal have children up to her death? Yes or no? It says no. No. Yeah, no. So it says no. No. Now open second book of Samuel. Yeah. Chapter 21. Yeah. Verse 8. Yeah. That's the same book. Yeah. 
book of Samuel, yeah. different chapter, different verse. Chapter 21, verse 8. Shall I read it to you? Yeah, does it say, Mishal has five sons? No, it doesn't. What does it say? It says, uh, but the king took, took Armone and Mephibosheth, the two sons of Ai's daughter, Rizpah, whom she had born to Saul, together with the five sons of Saul's daughter, Merab, whom she had born That's a different Adiel, name. No, of Barzillai, no. The Mehazalai. Excuse me. Does it say Mishal or no, Mirab? There's no mention of Mishal there. You know why they changed the name in your Bible? It's Michal. It's oh, Michal. You need to I'm go and do some research, Chacha. Go and do some research. I have done it. I have done it. You yeah, Christians have changed the name. I will get out the Hebrew for you if you like. You Come. Okay. Okay. Take this Bible. Hold this Bible. Now take the verse out. Open. Open this Bible. I think there's no point discussing it there. No, no, come on. Open the Bible. Hold the Bible. Why is he scared to... Why are you running away? Are you afraid? Uh, no, I'm not afraid. Okay, but, but hold it's the clear, Bible. It's clear that I'm wasting my time with that whole chacha. Because well, are you telling us reading about... You make claims no. about the Bible I want you to afraid. read your Bible. Hold your Bible. Hold your Bible, please. This Christian doesn't want to hold his Bible. Why? Okay, what's wrong with this one? Yeah, you give me that Bible, hold you this one. You asked me to get out my Bible, so I got out my Bible. Okay, hold this one, give me that one. Okay, now, open that one. Open second book of Samuel, chapter 6, verse 23. What does it say? You see, some of it agrees, some of it doesn't. Right, and Michael, Michael, daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. Yeah, no, so why don't you take that off? Okay. I can't hear you. Because I'm... I, I don't want to be spitting. Okay, you, okay. All. Now, open second book of Samuel. Second book of Samuel, chapter 21, verse 8. What does it say? Can you move up a bit if you don't want me to spit on you? You understand? Second book of Samuel, chapter 21, verse 8. What does it say? It says, but the king took Armone and Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth, the two sons of Aya's daughter Rizpah, whom she had born to Saul, together with the five sons of Saul's daughter Merab, whom she had born to Adriel, son of Barzillai, the Mehothalite. There's no mention of Mishal. Like, oh, no mention of Mishal there. No. Okay, because they changed the name from Mishal to Mirab. Okay, so you are. They changed the name that's from rival. Mishal to Mirab. <laughs> Come back again. You are still running away. You have run away from a debate. That's it. Where where these guys go? Hey, brother. I'll carry on till they come. Anyway, assalamu alaikum, everyone. Wherever you are, as you know, this is Speaker's Corner. And I was involved in debates with Christians, and the Christians have gone. And the Muslim brothers whose cameras these are, uh, one of the brothers is here. Uh, brother, the Christians have gone.